Okay, now that negation's done, we can move on to conjunction, which is basically how we symbolize the word and and its equivalent. Just like or, and is a binary operator. That is to say, it binds two sentences, A or B. We could write A and B. We saw in the last video that we write or as a wedge, like this. And for and, we flip it upside down, like this. If you're looking for a nice, convenient way to remember this, you can just think of this as an A for and. Unlike or, and requires that both of the sentences be true. So let's see this in the truth table. If both A and B are true, then A and B is true. But if one of them is false, as in the remaining possibilities, then A and B comes out false. So here are some examples. A is a cube and B is large. This will come out true just if A is a cube and B is large. If B isn't large, then it doesn't matter what A is, this sentence comes out false. Likewise, if A isn't a cube, then it doesn't matter what B is, this whole sentence comes out false. Now, last time we saw an example of a tautology, which is a sentence that's always true. This had the form A or not A, which as we saw, comes out true for every A. But here's another interesting kind of sentence, a contradiction. A and not A will always come out false. We can draw a truth table to see why. Suppose that A is true, in which case not A is false, but then because one of the conjuncts, which is just the sentences that flank the and symbol here, is false, the whole thing comes out false. Likewise, in the second row, where A is false, and so not A comes out true, but the conjunction of both is also false. This sentence, then, is a contradiction, and contradictions are going to be very important later on in this course. Now, I just want to make one more quick point before I wrap all this up, and this is that there are sentences that look quite different on the face of them in English than they do in FOL. So how would you, for instance, symbolize a sentence like C is a large dodecahedron? Well, to get the large C, we do this. And to get the dodecahedron part of it, we do this. This reads as C is large and C is a dodecahedron. It looks quite different from the English sentence, but if you think about the truth conditions, whatever makes this one true will make this one true as well. That's how we translate sentences like this into FOL. And that is how conjunction works.